record it. Anyway, so this game is called Wobegon. Um, and it's an HTML game, and it's gonna be the final game we play. And apparently it's, um, about depression, uh, and suicidal thoughts. So if you are sensitive to that kind of stuff, uh, I recommend you click off now. I'll leave a card, or I'll leave a, a timestamp to get just to the outro if you want to hear my final thoughts on, um, the, all the games we played today. Um... But yeah, I've I'm someone who has dealt with uh, depression, suicidal thoughts in the past, um, and I'm curious to how this represents it. If it's a good representation, so let's see. This page says it happens to everyone. That's not true. The amount of times that you hadn't found the will to get a bed was innumerable. Hint: click the arrow to advance. This page says you're not particularly special. Well, I mean... Everyone is special in their own ways. Nobody is perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. Nor interesting. That's a subjective and unfair statement. There's 7.125 billion people in the world, and all of them get sad sometimes. All of them get angry sometimes. All of them get sick sometimes. All of them get jealous sometimes. All of them get ill, and it just repeats. Your name is Joe. Your name is Joe. Your name is Joe, and you are a young man. You're in your second year at university. Not true, but anyway. You study science. That's a lie. Literature would be better, I guess, closer. You have a partner. Their name is... Janica. No, you know what? I'm gonna do, um... Hmm. I would say I'll do a name of a close friend, but I'll just uh, abbreviate it, because I don't want to do it. Let's just say N. You met N when you were in high school. You've been sweetheart since. This page says they bought you a yellow goldfish for your anniversary yesterday. You named the fish... Buttercup. I don't know. I don't know. Fish isn't very cuddly, but you think the buttercup is a nice pet. Welcome to Wobegon. Alright. Space says also you want to kill yourself. Not anymore, I don't. I've got a lot to be proud of. Make it through, the, make it through three days. You're lying in bed. You're voice from the opposite room. Joe, are you up? Uh, significant other, I'd get up. Most likely, I think. I'm trying to look back, think about my experiences in the past. Usually I got up. Um, you pull yourself out of bed. You eat with a smile, kiss on the cheek, and you eat toast together. You don't want to go to university. I force myself to go. I have to. It doesn't say goodbye. The train is 15 minutes late. You arrive already exhausted. I go to class. It's just, it's bad, but stick it through. 3.04 p.m. Your literature lecturer arrives late. You're dismissed early from class because of technical issues. You were annoyed, but your lecturer was glad that you attended. Oh, I'd go to that neat. I'd go to the arcade for a little bit. Hang out. Hey, they're close by arcade. You play Gallic all day. Once you get home, Anna's already back. They look very tired. You spend time with them or you don't bother them? Uh, well, if it's... There's another another. I'd hope they'd want to spend time with me, too. I would want to spend time even if I was tired. I'd, I'm just like that. So I spend time with them. Sun is set at 5.04 p.m. You're somewhat happy. You're passing your classes. You and Anna are doing fine. Don't you hate yourself? No, bitch. <laughs> Not anymore. Therapy, my guy. <laughs> Please. Seek help. Wake up. Sometimes you wish that you wouldn't. That was a feeling I used to have at times. It's 10.10am. 10, 10 it's Saturday. You need to go grocery shopping, and it's sleeping soundly beside you. Um, then I go shopping. If I need to go shopping, I can bring her home surprises or something. I like that. Um, 10.30am. Excuse me. Mm. You wheel your trolley around a neon Woolworths. Fill it up with necessities. You spend your pocket change on Galica. Can't buy Buttercup's Flakes. Go to the checkout. You type your debit card at Kleins. Put medicine back, you put some food back, you don't buy any credit for your phone. I don't buy any credit for my phone. Like what, like minutes? Medicine's important, food's important. 
I guess no phone credit. Tell the person you phone credit from the cashier. Tap the card again. The payment processes. Head home with the shopping. I want to see her. Oh, she went out. Dang it. Drive home. Load the shopping. You have a bowl of cheers. You're very tired. You turn on the TV. And it's left to know. Out to visit folks. I won't be long. And uh, you do some schoolwork. Clean the house. Do a face mask and go to bed early. It's 12 p.m., dude. No, I mean, there was times I was tired when I came home from, like, school or something. I napped. But it was never, like, a depression thing that made me want to go to bed early. I, I don't know if that's something that other people have. Um, I'm curious. Like, let me know. Uh, I'll talk more about that, like, my experiences at the end. And I'll probably make a whole video about it at some point. Um, but anyway. Uh, I'd probably do some schoolwork if I have to. It's 2 p.m. You sit down, you try to do a little coursework. Head isn't in it, but you manage to get some important study done. You feel accomplished with fatigue. You're trying to text then. Uh, uh, no. Try to make dinner. Try, but you can't. You're bone tired. You can't even bring yourself to open a packet of dry noodles. You find yourself on the couch. Then go straight to bed. They hardly even spare a glance. Oh, uh, hmm. Alright. Time is set at 5.16 p.m. You are growing very unhappy. You feel constantly tired. You and I haven't spoken to each other in a while. Time you're pressing coursework. Buy a pan at all. You have enough phone credit. You have enough groceries. Did you feel yourself suffocating? Not yet. I've been through worse, and I can keep pushing. I'm trying to be very motivational about it. I'm trying to fight back against it. There was a sharp rock stuck in between your clavicle notch and sternum. You can't breathe. It hurts. Keep fighting it. I know it hurts, but keep fighting it. It comes in waves. Let them wash over you. Come out of the tide stronger than before. All right. Gosh. Oh my god. Um sorry. I It's just like I know this. I know this. I've known this feeling. For the last few years, um, I mean, depression is still something I deal with, you know, but I'm not, it's not as bad as it used to be. Um, like, it's, it's a lot more manageable now, and I, I'm most of the time happy, and sometimes it hits me, but, like, I know this. I've said this, and that's, like, the hard thing about it. Um, I want it to stop. I'm going to say what my friend once said to me. If you're watching this, you know who you are. I always love you, dude. Um, but yeah. It's something similar to this. It's not exact, but, you know. Ah. Ah. It's okay to cry. It really is. It really is. 6.23, it's Sunday. You wake up in a pearless at dawn. You have an important literature assignment due today. I haven't started it. There's nowhere to be seen. You feel clammy and ill. You're not able to feed Buttercup. It is floating dead in the fishbowl. Sit down at your desk and you take out your literature work. Heart thuds in your mouth. Yes, I have felt that nobody loves me, even though I know it's not true. Thud. Thump. Thud. Take deep breaths. Take deep breaths. Whenever you're having an anxiety attack, take deep breaths. Lay down. At least for me, this is what I would do. I'd take deep breaths, lay it down. 
close close your eyes just try not to think try to sleep make decisions quickly you, you get out a pen your fingers are shaking let go of it rolls out the desk and on the floor you feel useless and want to cry let yourself cry tears sting you as they come out your breath is shuddering you can't control it you feel like you're going to die what too slow too slow too slow too slow, too slow. You keep repeating that. Your speech is fast. You slur. Comes but a feverish mutter as you try to wipe your face clean of tears and mucus. You are shaking very hard. Too slow. Can't make words appear on the paper. You can't do it. You don't have anything you could hand in. You haven't touched your work for days. Then step back. I've done bad on assignments because of things I was going through. Most teachers will be understanding of what you're going through. And they won't penalize you for it. If you have a teacher that penalizes you for having really, you know, when you're struggling with, like, hard personal problems, that's on them and it's not on you. I want to say that now. Because I know that my teacher was so understanding when that happened. And, like, I love that teacher. Um, he was just really understanding when that happened. And, like, you'll, if you have the right teacher, they'll be understanding of it. You just, just step back then. You can't force yourself to do it. I don't know what Panadol is. I'm going to search that up real quick. It's a pain relief. Panadol is a pain relief? So what, are you addicted to prescription drugs? I wouldn't take ibuprofen. If I had a headache, I'd take ibuprofen. Or like Panadol, I guess. But I wouldn't. Is this muscle relaxer? Give it another go. Hands are deadlocked. They refuse to move. Your insides are cold. You want to cry, but everything in your body is steeled down. Or immobile. Simply can't. Simply can't do anything. Go and find the panda doll then, I guess. Aren't I sad? No. Well, here's the thing um, that I find. I know I keep stopping, but I just want to keep talking because it's an important thing. Um, I feel like depression's not always about being sad about something. I mean, I went through a big period of grief during this year. Um, but I feel like depression is not always about sad. Sometimes you just feel sad for no reason. Uh, at least for me. There's days where I just can't really... I don't feel motivated. I don't feel like doing anything. I just feel sad. I don't know why. I just do. That's kind of what depression is. It's possible, but I can't be sure why. I think what's happening here with the whole thing with N, or like the significant other, is that they think and this and this is a this is a big thing that I went through, where you just doubt. You kind of just when you're when you're in a bad place yourself, it's not good to be in a relationship where you bond on demons. It's not at all. Um, it's a really bad thing to be in a relationship that bonds on mental health. Um, at least in my experiences, I could be wrong, um, for other people. For me, it was a bad experience in the end. I mean, there was a lot of beautiful, good moments in it, but, uh, there's some, you know, there's some, there's some bad shit in there. And one of the things was I doubted a lot. I doubted a lot how the other person felt, and that was wrong. Um, because it's not true. It's, they do, of course they do. But you, you think, uh, you overthink it, and you get into a place where you keep doubting. So... It is 7.18 a.m. You have some around. You know what to do. You find it under the sink. At least three packets worth. Excessive amount for you to buy. Still had a $2 bottle of Chardonnay in the fridge. You would figure that should it come to it, you wouldn't even need all three packets. And then again, you still weren't sure how strong a medicine Paradol is. And that wouldn't hurt to be safe. You can't see it anywhere. You instinctively, you instinctively take out your phone. Hands unstable, but and I'm scared. Not delivered. I'm feeling, I feel really sick. I don't want to be alive. I want to talk to you, please. I'm afraid. Please, and I love you. Not to live. None of them delivered. Oh, he did. I didn't buy credit. Oh no. And comes back home a little early from the Sunday market. You have strung yourself from the ceiling fan with a scarf. Half finished homework is neat and presentable on your desk. You've been pronounced dead at 10:17 a.m. You weren't managing your depression and is in grievance counseling, and handed in your half-done assignment. 
don't want to kill yourself. Not anymore, I don't. I've got a lot to be proud of. Don't you hate yourself? No bitch, not anymore. Therapy, my guy, please seek help. Or she's sad. It's possible, but I can't be sure why. Not yet. I've been through worse and I can keep pushing. You ever feel like nobody loves you? Yes, even though I know it's not true. I'm playing that through one more time. I'm playing it through one more time. Get up. All right, so I chose some different things. We're, we're out the second day. It is 5.16 p.m. and comes home. They eat, what you, uh, they eat what they can find and then join you on the couch and puts their head on you. You're fast asleep. You don't go to bed because you'd rather stay here with them. You'd be happier, but you're coping. You're not content. You're on top of your pressing coursework. You have no shopping. No. I'm just entering no. Um, it was like there was a shark, sharp rock stuck in between your clavicle notch sternum. It can't, you can't breathe. I know. I know. I know. I know. Keep fighting. Please let yourself cry. Be open. Sunday. All right. Our thuds. Let it come. Um, let go of it. Let yourself cry. No. No, 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 no. Too slow, too slow, too slow. Yep, keep repeating it. Try to make yourself write something. You can't, you can't do anything. You'll find that pan at all. Is it only, can you not live? Can you not live? I don't think you can live. I don't, I don't think you can live. Yeah, I'm going to call it there. God, um, I'm sorry. I'm not upset at the game. You know, I don't even think it's really a game for someone like me anymore. Maybe, I mean, I guess I shouldn't, you know, gatekeep it from myself. Um, it's a game for anyone, really. I just think it's, it is, it was really hard to play. Knowing um, how a lot of that feels, having been through a lot of those feelings. I think it just frustrates me that I don't think you can live in it. And I don't know if that's the point. But I think that's what's freaking me out about it. Um, which shows that it's an effective game. Um... The fact that you can't save yourself. And it's sad because there are people that that happens to. They just can't save themselves. If I'm wrong, I'll probably run it through a few times on my own uh, after the cut. And see if you can. I'll leave a stamp of, or a screenshot or something if you can. But I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible to actually live. Uh, it might be a whole topic for a no, its own video, but a lot of times between large upload gaps on my channel, it was bad times for me. I've, I've had some really rough things personally for the last few years um, at different times. Um, and I've experienced a lot, especially that whole relationship thing and a lot of the things i was saying was just supposed to be advice because i've moved pa i've been able to move past a lot of my harsh deep tendencies i've been to rock bottom and climbed out of it and i just want to, to offer some of my own personal experience advice you don't have to take of course um you know you want to actually get help i think it's just that happens to people. I was lucky that I could save myself, and I'm proud of the things I do. I'm proud of making these videos. Um, and I'm proud of the music stuff I'm doing. 
and I've I used to be a really self loathing person, you know, and <laughs> sorry. I used to be like that. And now I've grown into this person that I'm really happy with. And I'm not a perfect person. I've made mistakes and I've done a lot of not great things at times. But I truly believe in growth. I believe everyone has the opportunity to grow if they allow themselves to grow. And I think I have grown a lot from who I used to be even a few months ago. So if there's anyone out there who's felt the way that this game represents, I urge you, please keep fighting. As hard as it sounds, it's way easier said than done. Um, seek help. Don't be afraid to get help. I'll put all sorts of lifelines and stuff up on the screen for you to see. So you can uh, go check it out yourself and, and get help. And you can actually get help. Uh, you're not alone. People all over the place know what you're going through. And again, that's the same thing I said in the beginning, which was like, oh, it happens to everyone. That's not true. It doesn't happen to everyone. I mean, it happens to a lot of people, but it's... It, the point is that you're not alone. It's not that it's something to write off as everything go everyone goes through it. Every case is unique and individual uh, to individuals. And if you're suffering with this kind of stuff, I urge you to please get help. I might make a whole video about my experiences with depression. I'm actually going to upload this game itself uh, with the three random games and as its own video um, for people to see because I think this is really, really important for people to see. And the game will obviously be down below um, with all the other ones. Does a good job of representing source material in a minimalistic way. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. You feel free if you want to keep supporting my content. Like, comment, love to your feedback. You can follow me on Twitter to see what I'm up to. You can subscribe to Dwindling Nights today if you really want to hang around with me. Um, I just want to be honest and make fun content for you guys. You are loved, you are cared about. If you need help, don't be afraid to get it. See you guys in the next video. Joe, signing out. Bye, everyone.